What's up, witches? Guess what? It's Maybon. In other words, the first day of fall. Sorry, I have to do it like this, otherwise it looks really crappy in picture mode. But anyway, what we're going to be doing today, by we, I mean me and a special friend. My little buddy, John Q. <laughs> we are going to be cooking today. I'm doing this at night because that's when my energy is at basically at its strongest. And before we even head to the kitchen, one, I need to put, put some lipstick on. I don't do anything like this unless I'm wearing a little bit of lipstick. Two, I'm not wearing the cat ears. And three, my little buddy needs to go over there and light some candles for us. Will you do that for me? All right, let's head to the kitchen and he's gonna light some candles and he's going to wondering I sprayed fake blood on this thing so I wanted to be scary but it ended up being adorable and yes it's all small don't don't have me I forgot something John Q do you know where Peter Bear's at? found it all right it's Maybon meaning Harvest Festival. It's one of the more, sorry, I'm a little out of breath. It's one of the more awesome uh, Sabbaths in uh, paganism in Wicca. So what I want to do tonight, I roast chicken, salad, rice, and if you're wondering, I'm putting pineapple in this thing. In this, not that. Let me just move my thing down. Now, you're gonna need a knife. But for all intents and purposes, because YouTube does not want me using a knife, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up like this. Completely done. Now another thing I gotta do, turn this bad boy back over. So I've got all the giblets on the side. Here goes. All right. First, we're going to spray the sucker down with some cooking spray. And I'm going to use this. It's coconut oil cooking spray. Get a Dollar Tree. It's actually, it's actually very cool. Then we put down our seasonings. We're going to use basil, cilantro, chopped onion, garlic pepper, and jerk marinade. This stuff's amazing. So sprinkle it everywhere you want it. I would also, I would also use butter on this, but I'm a lot of butter. Now, two of these seasonings are actually very useful in witchcraft. I'll put the explanation right over here. So we'll throw on this bad boy. Also, basil is amazing as an anti-inflammatory and also used as a antibacterial uh, tool whenever you're trying to get better after a huge injury. John Hugh is falling asleep over here, I don't know why. Go to one side. A little chopped onion. 
on the chips and on the chicken itself. Sprinkle a little garlic pepper on this. Okay, who got it wet? Pineapple. The old flamboyant potato. I think pineapple this because it actually makes it sweeter when it's cooking. steam coming out the inside of this thing because it's been frozen for so long and I'm putting pineapple inside it. Here's a rule of thumb. Wash your hands before you do all this. Hopefully I did. I'm making sure I just have a lot of pineapple in this thing. because pineapple contains a chemical that when it gets in contact with meat and you soak it in meat or marinate it, you break down the tissue, making it nice and tender and very sweet. So in other words, while well, you eat pineapple, it eats you that. <laughs> you can't fruit, I'll tell you that. All right. This sucker is ready for the oven. Thankfully, I have it preheated and it will, even though it's defrosted, it will take at least an hour or so for it to fully cook, even though our oven runs fully freaking hot. Oven it one. And two. Let me pop this bad boy in the oven. Next up, we're going to be making the dessert. I had in mind a special kind of cake. If you're wondering, the pan just burned. It's not dirty. The reason why I had John Key help me find the peanut butter. Hold on. This peanut butter, to be exact. It's one kind of peanut butter all. It's because we're going to be making a chocolate peanut butter cake. You will need butter, or actually oil. I didn't have any oil, so I used liquid butter. You also need water. If you're a witch, you can use moon water, but if regular tap water is fine. You also need eggs. Now, take your bowl. Eggs, but I like mine really flat. So use three. Take the mix. Witchy tip is you can keep your eggshells and dry them out in the oven and create protection powder with them. It's very simple. And it's a very cool tool to use. I made a noops. Dollop, peanut 
too sweet. Could you go ahead and uh, pop some yeah, microwave for me? Of ours is a little bit more liquid. Go ahead and pour that in the bowl. By the way, I know I didn't use the jerk seasoning because you know there's pineapple in your chicken. That would have been way better. Alright, take the water. mine clockwise first then counter bring in and dispel any bad energies but to bring in the good that's what you should do in life sure people are gonna be toxic and mean but you can always take it with a grain of salt and people are gonna be rude and evil and nasty and oof but Don't go through life holding grudges. You just can't, can't, you know, get rid of. Otherwise, life's just gonna be one big tumultuous pain in the, pain in the butt, you know. Grudges a lot. I mean, mainly towards a very evil stepsister. But I no longer associate myself with her, thankfully. And Maybon is a time to reflect, to erase, and renew oneself as fall is finally coming in and spring and summer is no longer gonna be a thing for at least a, at least a while. Maybe you know, not until after spring that is. When the sun god passes and the winter goddess comes, all life on earth is renewed with the coming spring. When the spring comes, new challenges await as the, the buds appear on the trees and flowers. Mmm. That's some damn good Good batter. But yeah, as life changes, things change, lives can be changed, or, you know, just here I am trying to wax poetic and I'm just stammering like an idiot. Alright, let's grab our cooking spray one more time. Now one of these will serve about as many people as you can slice it for. If you take larger slices, it'll serve at least eight or four, depending. And now we've got the pan filled with our delicious peanut buttery and chocolate goodness. Let's pop that sucker in the oven as well. This will take about 45 minutes. Ooh. Oh, so 
Alfred's hotter than Razbowski's behind on a good day. All right. The salad's already prepared. Good in the bag. And the rice. This will be off screen. But for now, I'm gonna clean up. I'm gonna take this apron off. I'm gonna put the rice on. John Key is gonna cool off. And we're gonna go chill out in my room until the cake is ready because it'll take longer for the chicken. So what do you say, John Q? Ready for a break? He just yeeted right off my hand. stuff out of the oven. It looks burned. But it's not really. It's actually just dark. And let's see how our chicken turned out. Look at that. Roasted and looks delicious, doesn't it? And I'm going to put John Q right here. Let's see if uh, the end of the pineapple is still intact. Yep. Overflow of pineapple. Well, John Q and I are gonna make ourselves a plate. And we'll be back in my room in just a few minutes. I'm just glad everything turned out good. This turned out pretty dang juicy from the looks of it. And I'm gonna take a taste of the cake real quick. By the gods, it actually tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup. <laughs> I'm not kidding. The back manic is sweaty. I'm for my forehead sweaty. And chicken rice is done. So as I said, let me make me and John Q a plate and I'll be right back in my room. <sighs> and there we have it. An entire Maybon dinner. Whew, and I'm exhausted. But I am blessed. For this took a lot of hard work and it took a lot of time <sighs> and I'm still letting that cake cool down if you're wondering but Maybon is a time to reflect to put off old grudges and to just refresh yourself and just enjoy the harvest that you have more or less cultivated for many months and as Ras Foxkey and John Q can tell you, if they could talk, I have had a very successful harvest this year, even though I'll never forgive certain people. But other than that, may you and yours have a blessed Maybon. And I know since fall is now here, my bounty, my blessings, and my offerings be very plentiful. <laughs> Blessed be to everybody. And y'all know what to do. If you like this, hit that button, the like button, with a big old bibbity, bobbity, boop, and we will see you in the next video. <laughs> Blessed be.